Well, guys, March is over, which means it's time to take a look back at all the books I bought. What's up, guys? BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them, all for your viewing pleasure. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. Uh, now, on this channel, I do comic book reviews and really everything in between. So if you're interested in that, consider hitting the subscribe button. Speaking of subscribing, uh, we're getting very close to 5,000 subscribers. And when we hit that milestone, I'm giving away this copy of Ultimate Fallout 4. This is the second printing variant by Sarah Pacelli. Uh, I love this cover. I, I really do. I wish I had one for myself. But anyway, giving away this uh, book, graded in a CGC 9.6, over $300 value on the open market right now. You could get it absolutely free. All you got to do is be subscribed to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment. Um, once we hit 5,000, I'm going to go live. I'm going to choose a random video where we promoted this giveaway, and we're going to use a YouTube comment generator to find out who won. You're eligible no matter where you live, but if you live outside of the United States, you'd have to pay for shipping. Just a heads up. So good luck to you, and thanks for being a supporter of the channel. Now, with all that said, it's time to get into my monthly graphic novel haul. Um, you guys know I pre-order a lot of books. I find deals on eBay. I find deals at the local comic shop. And, you know, every month you never know what I'm going to end up with. And man, March is a doozy. I didn't realize how much we got in in March. Now, part of this is February pre-orders getting pushed back and stuff like that. But we got a lot of books to cover, so I'm going to try to go as quickly as possible. And um, I was going to try to go from like oldest to newest, but we'll start with some books that I just got in. Actually, no, this is a message from the future. I actually went through this whole video and forgot to shout out our sponsor, Organic Price Books. They're the ones that made a lot of this possible. I got several of these books from Organic Price Books and several because of our amazing partnership. So I got to give a huge shout out to Organic Price Books. If you're interested in any of the books that you're about to see, go to OrganicPriceBooks.com, search for them, see if they've got them. You can always use my coupon code BJKICKS to save $2 on every order. Or if you're like me and you're placing large orders, go ahead and bundle those orders of three or more and use the code BJKICKS, ship it together. You'll save 5% which really adds up. When the last time I used that code, it saved me over $15 on my monthly omnibus order. So definitely check that out. Um, that's Organic Price Books. Use the links in the description. And thanks again to JP for being an amazing partner. We're one year strong. We've been working with Organic Price Books for a year. But anyway, all right, now that I've done the whole plug, let's go back to the past where I showed you a bunch of books. We won't. We will start oldest to newest, but we're going to start with trade paperbacks. So First up uh, from Marvel Comics are two trades that I just put off the purchase of. For the longest time, I had volume three in this series, but I didn't have volumes one or two. So this is Black Panther by Reginald Hudlin. Uh, Black Panther by Reggie Hudlin. This uh, is probably most famous for being the Black Panther run that married Storm and T'Challa. But uh, there's also a lot of great things that are... Uh, introduced here of course the probably most notable of this being the debut of shuri so i'm excited to read this series so far this is the only recent black panther run that hasn't been solicited for an omnibus yet i have a feeling that's going to change but i don't know anybody at marvel so i can't confirm that uh, but anyway that's black panther by reggie hudlin and that was the first set of books that i grabbed this month All right, next up uh, from Marvel Comics, this is actually a book that I got um, from the K-Squad. So in the K-Squad, we started an initiative called the Squadron Hood of the Traveling Comic. Uh, all shout outs to my guy, Shannon, you trucking nerd, and Trey from Toyama Displays. They started this initiative where uh, we basically do like a book club in the K-Squad where we pass around one trade paperback. We mail it, you read it, sign it, date it, and then you mail it to the next person. So this book has been to seven different households. I am the eighth, and I'm going to sign it and give it away at a later date. But this is Daredevil Yellow 
by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. Uh, I have not read this series yet. I have not read this trade yet. I got to say, this artwork looks really good. And I mean, I wouldn't expect anything less from Tim Sale. So it's part of the Marvel Colors series. I have this in an omnibus, but I probably will just go ahead and read this trade before I uh, give you guys my thoughts and pass it off to one of you. So thanks to uh, you Truck and Nerd and Toyomic Displays for starting this initiative. Thanks to Laura from Mary with Comics for uh, being the last one in the line before this came to me. And um, yeah, I'm excited about it. Let's move on. Next up, I gotta find a landing place for these books. All right, next up is a book that I grabbed on eBay um, for a steal of a price. I paid $19.99 for this long out of print book. This from Milestone Media DC Comics is Icon, A Hero's Welcome, uh, collecting the first eight issues of Icon, which of course is written by Dwayne McDuffie with art by Mark Doc Bright. Uh, so that's exciting. It's even got a foreword by Reggie Hudlin, who now is one of the owners of the new Milestone Company, which is very cool. So this is one of those things where it's like, did I need it? Technically, no, because I already have the single issues. But I mean, I'm on a quest to get like everything ever published by Milestone. And this, of course, is on that list. And for $19.99, I couldn't say no. And I didn't. So it's here. All right. So that's the majority of the trade paperbacks. But then I've got something that came as um, a sort of gift from a good friend. So you guys know my man, Kev Koss, he's in the K squad. He's in the comments lurking around somewhere. Um, and he is a huge fan of buying indie series. And he's been trying to put me on to the universe of Stranger Comics for the longest time. And I kept telling him like, yeah, I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna buy it. And then I didn't buy it. Well. He recently upgraded his collection to hard covers and was like, look, I'm going to offer you this deal on the soft covers. And I was like, all right, cool. Let's do it. So I've got the full Asunda universe uh, is what they're calling it. So I got the Untamed, which is uh, the Untamed A Sinner's Prayer. I've got the Untamed Killing Floor. Dusu, Path of the Ancient. Niobe, She is Life, uh, which is the one I'm most excited for. I think, if I'm not mistaken, somehow this is like the first book that's going to be adapted into a film where the writer, the publisher, and the main character are all black. Something like that. I have to look into that. Uh, that's Niobe, She is Life. This is Niobe, She is Death. Love this cover art. And then the last book in the uh, Asunda reading order is Erathun. I hope I'm saying that's right, that right. Um, but yeah, so I got the whole Stranger Comics library in trade paperback, came with this handy guide uh, to let you know what order to read the books in. So I'm going to be doing a deep dive. I got to see if I can connect with uh, Sebastian Jones, who is the or one of the founders of the company. Maybe we can do an interview or something, but I got to read some of this, get familiar with it first, because who wants to talk to somebody who doesn't know anything about your books, right? So that was the Stranger Comics Library. And then we're almost done with the trade paperbacks. Uh, next up is a haul that I just got in from Zavi. Uh, Zavi was actually doing a four for $10 Marvel trade paperback sale. Uh, so I ordered a bunch of trade paperbacks. We're going to run through them really quick. Uh, since I didn't film an unboxing separately, I will let you guys know that mine all kind of arrived damage like you could see where the box got beat up and every book's got kind of like the same sort of damage depending on where it was placed in the box uh so that sucks that was my first time buying trade paperbacks from zavi just wanted to be you know fully honest let you guys know in case you want to take advantage of the deal they may come a little beat up but for the price of what two dollars per book can't really be mad at that but anyway first up is luke cage sins of the father this is volume one of the series written by david f walker which i believe is the last or most recent luke cage series um but yeah so i got volume one sins of the father and i got volume two caged never read any of this um but together these collect luke cage issues one through five and it looks like they went back to legacy numbering and uh started at 166 through 170. So that's Luke Cage. Um, and then 
another book. This is an original graphic novel made to coincide with the Luke Cage Netflix series. This is Luke Cage Everyman. And this is written by Anthony Del Cole with Janoy Lindsay and Ian Harry. So I got a bunch of Luke Cage. This year is Luke Cage's 50th anniversary in publishing. Uh, so there's a Luke Cage omnibus coming out, collecting all the early appearances. And I got some recent materials to read as well. So that's that. Um, next up is a, a Marvel Knights omnibus. This, very cool. This is Daredevil, Marvel Knights Daredevil by Brian Michael Bendis and Alex Maleev. This uh, is called Underboss, this story. I'm not sure exactly where this runs. Is this the first story in the, the Bendis Daredevil saga? I don't know, but I've never read any of it. The only Daredevil I've read is a little bit of the Charles Soule omnibus, and I really liked it. But everyone in the world was like, you got to read Bendis first. So when I saw this as part of the deal, I was like, sure, I'll jump on that. All right, next up, uh, we've got, this one just looked cool. This is Rocket, uh, following Rocket Raccoon by Al Ewing, uh, the Blue River score. I don't know if this is an original series, but yes, yeah, collects it, Rocket 1 through 6 by Al Ewing. Uh, I love Rocket in the movie, so I figured his trade should be good too. Um, so yeah, artwork looks good. I'll say that much. I'm not a big fan of like cosmic stuff and a bunch of aliens and different species because it becomes harder for me to remember who's who, but I'm going to read it because Rocket's funny. All right. Blasting through these trade paperbacks. I got three more. They're all X-Men related. First up is New Mutants Dead Souls. Um, I bought this. This is an original graphic novel and I bought this uh, directly or specifically because it's written by Matthew Rosenberg. I loved four kids walk into a bank. So Matthew Rosenberg writing a teen team of superheroes just seemed like a good idea. Uh, so this collects New Mutants Dead Souls issues one through six. I think it was a miniseries. I don't know. Um, so I, I got I grabbed it though because it looked cool. All right. Next up is a book that I wasn't familiar with, but I mean, it's Wolverine. So why not do it? This is Wolverine Savage Origins. This one took the most damage out of the box. So you can see my cover is kind of ripping off the spine a little bit. You might not be able to see that. Uh, but either way, this collects. All right. It looks like this wasn't a series first. So this is an original graphic novel um, as well. So cool. Written by. Why don't they put it right here? Wolverine. Ben Acker and Ben Blacker. That's funny. Acker and Blacker. Uh, with art by Salva Espin, uh, but we can keep going on and on. Let's move on to the final Marvel trade paperback. This is Siege X-Men, part of the Siege event that happened at some point in the Marvel Universe. I don't know. I wasn't reading it. I do have a Siege uh, New Avengers book that I got for free from Ultimate Comics one time. Um, so I figure a little tie-in series should be fine. Uh, featuring the X-Men. Will I understand it? Probably not, because it's part of a larger story that I'm not reading. But Wolverine looks cool on the cover, and it was $2. And I used my Zabi account credits to buy it. So all eight of these trade paperbacks cost me nothing. I bought them with the eventual goal of passing some of them along to you through different giveaways and prizes and stuff. So Merry Christmas. Now you know what's coming up in the giveaway pipeline. Now, I got one last trade paperback. All right, I'm lying. I got several trades coming up. But uh, next up is Ace Blade. Uh, this is Ace Blade Volume 1, collects the first four issues of the title. Um, and we're now on issue number five. So I got this as part of the Kickstarter. You saw it, or maybe you saw it in yesterday's video. Uh, but Ace Blade, written by Danny Quick, signed by the writer, the author. Um, I'm excited about it because... I read issue one, but I need to get the rest of the backstory before I start issue five, villain season. So that is Ace Blade, volume one. All right, I got just a few more trade paperbacks and then we can start getting to the hardcovers. You guys remember I went to Ollie's at the beginning of the month because there was a huge restock. I did not leave disappointed. I left with Batman Eternal, volume one. 
Volume 2, and Volume 3, all from Ollie's. Uh, retail price for the th all three of them would have been $120. I paid $24. So that was a win. That was an absolute win. I mean, if I'm looking at just prices for all the stuff that I paid related to, or compared to the MSRP or the retail value, this month was a steal of a month. Uh, so that's it. That's it for the trade paperbacks. I also got one hardcover or one standard size hardcover, I should say. This is Black. Um, Black written by Kwanzaa. I'm not even going to try these names. I'm not going to do it. Uh, but this is a series that I've always been curious about. Um, it's a world where only Black people have superpowers. I haven't read any of it, um, but it's just, you know, an interesting premise. I happened to walk into Ultimate Comics on the 1st of March <laughs> and I walked in and this book was just sitting there and I was like, I didn't know they had a hardcover, so I bought it. Can't wait to read it. And of course, I'm going to review it. The artwork looks amazing. It is all in black and white, but it still looks amazing. I think it's illustrated by Jamal Eagle. So super dope. So that's all my standard sized offerings this month. There's a lot of them. I'm not even going to count them. Let me move those off to the side. All right. Boom. So I moved my trade paperbacks, and now we can get into the hardcovers that I bought this month, uh, starting with this one that I grabbed. Just hit myself in the face with it. This one that I grabbed from Ollie's. This is Batman uh, Detective Comics, 80 Years of Batman, the Deluxe Edition. I had the corresponding Superman book. I had to grab this one as well. As you can see, it only cost me eight bucks. I mean, that's that's a great deal. It was a retail price of $29.99. I paid $8. That's awesome. Next up is a, let's see, we'll do it this way. Uh, so that was my only DC hardcover this month. And we next up, we got an indie hardcover. This is TDS Mutant Ninja Turtles, the IDW collection, uh, volume two. Look at uh, Splinter, Master Splinter here on the front cover. Uh, you guys know I've been trying to get these TMNT hardcovers. I got a great deal on like 10 out of the 13 current books, uh, but I paid like a, an average of $20 for each volume where they retail for 60, 50 to 60 on each volume. So uh, it's hard for me to like go out and pay Amazon prices of like $40 when I bought all the rest of them for 20 each. But anyway. IDW had a spring sale a couple of weeks ago. I was able to pick this up for $15, just over $20, including shipping. That's a win. And my streak of half off Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles hardcovers continues. Now I just need volume three and volume four to complete the set before I start buying the new ones coming out uh, later this year. So that's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the IDW collection, volume two. And now, we can get to the Marvel Omnibus that I bought this month, uh, actually several of which I bought in February, but they didn't arrive until this month. So there we are. First up is this one. This is Howard the Duck by Chip Zdarsky and Joe Quinones. This was just a fun looking series and the uh, it's a thin Omni. It's got a retail price of only $60, which means you could probably find this somewhere for about 30. And that's a huge win. That's a huge win. Uh, for a fun looking story. So I'll read this when I want a good laugh and I'll let you know what I think of it. Next up from Marvel Comics is a classic. Uh, and this was a really heavily sought after book for quite some time, but this is X-Men volume one, the original Stan Lee, Jack Kirby, X-Men. Um, and this is the direct market variant. I actually have another copy of this. I'm be giving away to a lucky member of the K-Squad soon. Uh, but yeah. This collects the first 31 issues of the X-Men by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. I've heard this is a chore to get through, but I mean, after a while you get some classics, you got Neil Adams on artwork eventually. There's, there's a lot to love about this. I think a lot of that comes in volume two, which I do have on the way arriving sometime next week or something like that. So that's the X-Men. Now, Moving on, uh, we've got another Captain America omnibus here. This is Captain America Lives by Ed Brubaker. If you're following the saga, this will be the third in the Ed Brubaker. Um, I don't know. They don't have a word 
like trilogy when there's five books. But, you know, there's this the third volume out of five Ed Brubaker classic tales. So this is direct market variant. I kind of wish I got the Alex Ross cover, uh, standard market cover. Maybe one of us can work out a trade or something. But either way, excited to have these stories collecting a bunch of Captain America. Next up, speaking of Captain America, um, you might know that volumes four and five in the whole Captain America by Brubaker series are still out of print. Nothing's been solicited yet, although I'm hopeful we'll get an announcement next year. Uh, but I actually found a copy of this, Return of the Winter Soldier, which would be volume five in the Brubaker saga. And I went ahead and just grabbed it because I was able to get it for way below retail, which is rare for an out-of-print book. Shout out to the eBay seller who sent it to me. It did arrive slightly damaged just on the spine, but for below retail, not a bad price. Not a bad price at all. So that's Captain America by Ed Brubaker, uh, technically volume five, but we're not calling it that. I got two more books, just two more books. Uh, next up is The Fantastic Four by Jonathan Hickman. This is volume one. Volume two is out next week, I think. Um, but yeah, Fantastic Four by Hickman. When I first got into comics, I was what got me into comics was House of X and Powers of Ten. And then that kind of led us into the Hickman era on X-Men. And when I was picking up those books, all the reviewers were like, I can't wait for Hickman's X-Men. His Fantastic Four and his Avengers are required reading for every comics fan. So I was always excited to get into this, but I didn't really get to read a whole lot of it. I read the first trade paperback, uh, which I should probably dig up and sell to somebody at this point because I got it in my collection. But anyway, read the first trade paperback. I liked that. So I figured... I'll jump into the Hickman saga. Everybody else says it's a classic. I got to see what they're talking about. So Hickman, X-Men, or Hickman Fantastic Four, volume one. That's the direct market cover, by the way. And finally, the last book I picked up in the month of March is, of course, it's X-Men related. This is X-Men, The Avengers, Onslaught. This is kind of the precursor to Heroes Reborn. Uh, by all accounts, it's a very clunky 90s event, but it's got great artwork. This is a massive, this is a hefty book. A lot of uh, series, a lot of tie-ins. This really does kind of cover the entire Marvel Universe. I mean, there's in, there's issues of Punisher in here, Iron Man, Incredible Hulk, Fantastic Four, along with all the, you know, traditional players when it comes to X-Men titles. So I'm excited to get into this. This is going to be like way out in my reading order of X-Men, uh, which, by the way, I am like this close to finishing volume one of Uncanny X-Men. And that review is still coming very soon. I think it's a running joke for me to say that now, but it's actually true. So that was the last omnibus that I grabbed, courtesy of Organic Price Books. Oh, it's hilarious. I forgot to do the plug, so I actually had to cut it from the here and put it in the beginning. So shout out to you if you noticed that. Uh, but anyway, man, man, um, let's do this. I don't think I'm going to put the trade paperbacks beside my head. We'll let those just not be on the thumbnail. But check out, ugh, check out these hard covers that I grabbed this month. That's insane. This is a heavy stack, so I'm going to take it off my head now. Uh, but yeah, that's the haul. So again, if you're interested in any of these books, Quite a few of them are still available at organicpricebooks.com, Howard the Duck, Fantastic Four, X-Men, Captain America Lives, all that stuff still available. So definitely jump on those prices. Be sure to use my coupon code BJKicks at checkout, save $2, or BJKicks ship it together if you're ordering three books or more to save even more. That's going to do it for me. I hope you saw something you liked in this video. If not, hey, that's cool. So you can always buy what you like. Just make sure you read what you buy and be nice to others because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.